Welcome back to the Valentine Show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine, expecting you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. On today's show, we're going to be talking about how there's a major shift in uh, U.S. politics coming in 2020. What is that? What is that wave that is coming through in 2020? Hispanic voters. The Hispanic voting bloc is projected to be the largest minority voting group in the United States for the 2020 elections by Pew Research. We're going to be talking about it right now, but before we get into that, I would just want to highlight this, how um, uh, Trump hosted the uh, family of slain Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen. He pledges to actually pay for the funeral of the soldier out of his own pocket. No government funds out of his own pockets. Um, uh, the people that don't know, she was killed in Fort Hood by this person supposedly this is the suspect um aaron david robinson who killed himself because he was a coward he committed suicide um and trump hosts this family this is just to prove a point that latinos in the usa are now going to have to be taken into account because we are here and we are here to stay let's get into the facts these are the facts right here an early look into at the 2020 uh, electorate. And this is why this is going to be Latinos are going to be and Hispanics are going to be um, a thorn on the Democrats. And if the Democrats don't change their platform, their radicalism, right, the radical ideas, they are going to lose and lose a lot. Because all they have right now on Latinos right now. The Democrats is the comments that Donald Trump said four years ago, which they want to ca categorize them as racist, and they're not racist, but that's the way they're projecting them. Once Donald Trump is out of office, what else are they going to have if they have these radical ideas that Latinos are not down with? Well, let's get into the numbers here. This is, again, from uh, Pew Research. It says here, Hispanics, look what Hispanic says. Hispanics are going to be of the... Percentage of the voting uh, eligible voters, right? It says here, Hispanics will be 13.3%. Blacks will be 12.5%. Asians, 47 And whites, 667 We have passed blacks in eligible voters. Um, so what does this say for the Democratic Party? Well... Let me change the view here. That way you guys can see my beautiful face. <laughs> and by the way, for the people that are here, thank you so much. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Every Friday, this Friday, today is Friday, 731. We are going to be doing the live show every Friday, 8 to 9. Where you, I have not, not a regular live show, a calling show, right? You guys are able to call me and speak to me directly. So see you tonight. Um, This is the major problem with with that and the Democratic Party. First of all, Hispanics are going to keep on reproducing. We reproduce. We have babies. That's right. So our voting block is going to keep growing. What, what are Hispanics usually about? You could take them all together, group them up, every single one, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Guatemalan, Mexico, Mexicans, uh, Salvadorians, Panamanians, all of them. You could take them and put them under the umbrella of conservative. We have conservative values. And this, again, is going to be a big problem for the extreme left, for the radical left. We believe in family. We don't believe in abortion. The LGBT movement is not of concern to us. We respect them, but it's not of concern to us. It's not to us. It's not like a civil rights movement. It's we believe they they need respect, but it's not um, to everywhere, right? I mean, this is just the way our countries are are right. Um, we believe in God. We are religious people, all of us, whether it's Catholic, whether it's Protestant, Christian, whatever it is, we believe in god so they're gonna have to cater to us and the democratic party does not cater to us and it's not catering to us now if you tell me the democratic party of years ago different but it's it, we're not talking about that party anymore that party has been it's gone right we're so the party that right now that represents latino and hispanic values is the republican party they are a lot 
And when I mean a lot of people, in particular Hispanics, that are against a lot of these protests, that are not down with the burning of buildings, that are not down with the chaos, that are not down with the craziness that's coming down from the Democratic Party, there are a lot of them. They might not be out crazy saying it and protesting. Again, there's a, obviously a language barrier on top of that, right? Immigrants. Um, but there are a lot of these people who are now going to vote. And this is going to be a big thorn, I think, in my opinion. Even all you see this. I go into the chats, into the, the, the comments of videos, right? Like on on Spanish media, Univision, right? Go into the comments. Go check them out. Go for yourself, right? Go read what they're saying down there. A lot of the stuff that these guys are, are speaking, are voicing, are pro-Republican, pro-Trump views. <laughs> I mean, to, 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 and to be honest, that's, that's a good sign, right? To, to me, at least, because now they, the, the number one minority is going to be a more conservative group. <laughs> guys, what do you think about this topic? I'm opening up the comments. The comments are there for you guys to uh, chat to talk to give me a comment let me know what you guys want to see on the channel what do you guys think about this topic remember that sharing is caring commenting is caring and everything else is caring god bless godspeed me valentine i am out <laughs>